Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about the reservation software. This software is useful for someone who wants to make reservation and he or she want it to be as simple as possible. So for example, this is a good for restaurant where the clients call and ask them to reserve a table for them. So for example, a client called us, we ask their name, for example, Armin. The number of persons who want to sit on one table, for example, I want to reserve a four people table. The contact number in the case that they are late and I want to call them and some notes to them. So after that, I need to enter the time of the reservation, the year, month, day, hour and minutes. So in that case that you do not need the minutes, you can leave it empty, zero, or leave it alone. Also, I can choose these simple times. For example, the now button will enter the current time of today. Or for example, if I want to reserve the table for the next hour, so I can press this one, it set the time at the next hour, three hour, four, five and six hour so I can simply just click on this also for example someone want to make a reservation for tomorrow at this time so I can click on this button to set the date at the tomorrow automatically also for example if I want to have a simple data entry for tomorrow I just can I can just press on the tomorrow button and then change the time as I need. For example, I want it to be at the 8 o'clock at tomorrow p.m. So after I enter the data, I just need to simply submit this reservation and after that you can see the done message. You will see the information of the client will be empty. The data of the reservation will be placed at the schedule table here at the first row. So whenever you submit the data, the newest data, the newest submitted data will be placed at the first row. So you can simply come here at your table and see which are these, which one is the current number. Also, you are able to filter this table. For example, I want to filter it to today. It's a uh, today is a nine. And I can see all the reservation of the today. However, whenever you submit a new data, for example, let me submit new one here and just submit that. You can see the filter is clear and you will see all the table data. So you, forget, so you need to make another filter again. So whenever you submit the data, the filter of the table will be clear then you will see all the data so this is as simple as possible however you have some reports here for guidance for example the capacity report show you the total of the reservation and the total the person that you need to serve at the certain time for example the day is today I want to make it today and I want to see the total reservation from 8 a.m. to the 8 p.m. So I can see the total reservation for this time and date. Also, you can enter your capacity. For example, my restaurant have 100 reservation capacity and 1,000 people capacity. So I can check if I uh, have enough capacity for serving people or I'm in the shortage or for example I have the I have the full reservation so I cannot give any re more reservation to people. Also I can change the position of the souls or the formulas here as I need for example it's better to be see, to see these data here and I can see the total reservation is open, the total person is open as well. However, for example, if I have one reservation capacity, I will see the full. 
so I, it says that my restaurant is full for reservation or for example if I have enough capacity but I have not enough table for persons I can see the reservation is open but the total person is full right now and there are other reports here as well for example here the software will show you the report for today the total reservation the total persons you serve this year this month this day and this hour so for example in the year 2020 month 12 and day 8 at the time of 5 p.m. I serve nobody but in the day in but this day I serve total of 5 reservation 21 people and in this month month 12 I had 60 reservation and I serve 68 people as well as this year and another report and the last one is the custom date report so for example if I want to see 2019 month 5 and day 4 I can see the reports here as well so because I do not have any data for 2019 I have zero reservation and person so and you should note that the month 5 is related to the year 2019 and the day 4 is related to the month 4 of 2019 so I can change so let me change it to the for example current month and the previous day and you should note that as well these are all just formula I typed here you can remove them if you do not need them you can remove all of them actually or you can uh, change the formula as well or you can add something if you need something by formula it's all up on you and it is all open to edit them and the last thing is clear data so when you download this software from our website in the diaco.co.uk and when you want to start to using this software at the first you may see a yellow ribbon here in the above of your excel you may see a yellow ribbon ask you to enable the content of the software as well as the enabling the VBA so you need to click on the enable content and the enable VBA macros after you enable the software you have to clear the data table so uh, these are just test table I press on the clear the uh, data table and as you are you sure to delete all the data right now no I do not want to remove my test data but when you want to use that you need to press on the yes button to remove the data in the schedule table and start from scratch thanks for watching i hope this simple software helped you a lot and goodbye in order to watch more training videos please subscribe to our youtube channel diaco otd and if you want to see our products please visit our website diaco.co.uk